your lack of commitment and you not doing what you said you're supposed to do is why you are part of the 95% of traders that fail in funded trading. This was me. This was me why I was sitting in that 95% of traders that are failing because I kept over trading, kept revenge trading, not sticking to my plan and just not doing the simplest things that we all know we should do, but we don't do. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the five things that you should be doing if you want to take your trading seriously and you want to become a profitable trader to live that lifestyle, to have that freedom and to become financially free. Remember, freedom for me is doing what I want when I want with who I want how I want having trading as an income I can tell my boss to go away I don't have to go to that job I don't have to do that partnership I don't have to do whatever I can do everything and live life on my terms so this video let's go through these five things do these five things and it will increase the probability of you becoming a successful trader and sitting on that five percent table with me and many many other people who are successful in this industry with number one it is understanding your emotions that's right understanding your emotions how many times have you left the trade to run when it's already hitting your take profit because you were greedy you were greedy thinking that it's going to give you more money you're going to make more money and the truth is yes it can but so what if you do that you are going to hinder yourself and create bad habits and have unrealistic expectations of the market fear in the market when you're holding a trade and you should be holding it longer because it's part of your rules but you close the trade out because you have fear of the market reversing against you fear of missing out you've had a signal you've missed out on the trade and you want to impulsively enter into the market these are all driven by emotions and i've done this i'm not trying to talk to you like i'm better or anything like that don't worry this was me this was me at one point in time but the biggest difference is i did these five things i changed who i was to become who i needed to become and became a profitable trader and these are five things that you need to do so number one understand your emotion so understand it and there are ways to do this you can write this on your daily report card keep a journal or in a track of it have an accountability partner join a journal team so like we have the winner circle in our winner circle you are able to stay accountable sharing every single one of your trades your journal every single day where our coaches myself review your journals and see how you're getting on and there is no room for error and if there is we will call you out and try to assist you and think okay if you have fear where does that stem from how can you solve this it's not about how can you eliminate it but how can you solve it number two can't manage what you don't measure you have to have a journal a trading journal is imperative when it comes to trading but so many people don't journal journaling is the number one way to help yourself improve each percent at a time from your journey you'll be able to find out your mistakes how to increase your edge how to find out any specific thing that can help you become a better trader and to eliminate all the worst things and the destructive habits that are killing you if for example you trade in the new york session and you give back the profits in the new york session then eliminate the new york sessions for example you trade really well between 8 a.m and 10 a.m then have that your only trading window or you have three confluences anything above three confluences you have a 50 or 70 percent win rate anything below three confluences is only 20 percent win rate so you can see all of this data i'm giving you right here right now can improve your chances improve the probability and improve the success rate of you becoming a profitable trader you can still be a profitable trader and refine your edge are you perfect no is anyone perfect no but that's the whole point of trading that's why it's so fun because you can constantly constantly improve improve your edge improve yourself improve your inner personality and your inner peace and improve everything as an overall it's a never-ending game there's something called the void from Miyamoto Musashi where uh, he basically said there's no ending and there's no start and that is what it is you are never ending in trading and never starting in trading and it's a constant 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 refinement so make sure you journal as number two so guys if you want to get your trading up to date and you are resonating with what i'm saying right now don't forget to check out link in the description to join my course or my program my course is an a to z trading strategy from my bre and my padane so for day trading and swing trading discipline psychology the whole shebang taking you from a beginner or intermediate whatever that you are to really clearly identifying what you should be trading as an overall we've then got our winner circle program which is a monthly journal review we have webinars we have guest speakers we have an accountability there's a 12 episode accountability program there's webinar recordings as well and you get one-to-one -one calls after every three and six months of you doing your journal so if you want to join these a link in the description and more information below number three this is actually probably the most important one and i put it bang in the middle take breaks every single person feels like including myself this was the biggest thing i did wrong all the time and i sometimes do it now is trading every single day 
we need to take breaks. We can only do so many brain decisions and so many managements of these trades in a day or even in a week or in a, in even in a period of time. So it's important to take breaks to help us to reset, to recalibrate and to make sure that we come back if we're in a winning streak to make sure we're not overconfident. And if we're in a losing streak to reset and re-emphasize that our trading strategy works, we can make money. Let's come back to the market when the conditions are better and that I can boost my confidence and get in a better market situation. Because your strategy could be profitable but the market could not be and if that's the case it's best just to walk away give it some time let you have a break and then come back and trade the markets when it's in a better condition or in your favor taking breaks is key that helps you reset don't trade every single day don't force a trade every single day and make sure you have a fine line and a balance number four is actually having a full organized plan and the funny thing is how can you get from a to b without even knowing the map or the destination or a gps to help you get there how can you drive somewhere without knowing where you're going just like going somewhere without a destination and without a map just like i just want to be this but what's this what do you want to become who do you want to become what is it what's the specifics okay i want to get from birmingham to london okay cool now i know the destination then what route do I have to take? I have to take the M4 and the M1. Now I've got the organized plan. You want to be a profitable trader. What? Six figure, seven figure, five figure, four figure, whatever the goal is, that is for you versus you and me versus me. It's just your chapter. Once you've got that, you've got your goal. What is the plan? What is the map? How are you going to do it? What's the strategy you're going to change? What's the daily report card? How are you going to stay up to date? What type of journaling? What type of information are you going to track? This is very important to have an organized plan and to follow it. And the saying goes, a dream is a dream, but a dream with an organized plan becomes a goal. Persistent, consistent action on that organized plan becomes a reality. So that's how you make a dream become a reality. So create an organized plan. Number five, last but not least, don't rush the process. Making money quick, you'll lose money quick. And doing it unethical will always come back to you. Be calmer, be peaceful, be ethical, have honor in yourself, and have the right integrity and have the right respect for yourself. And understand that it takes time in this business. It takes time for you to build that consistent track record. And speaking of track record, there are things like Darwin X, Darwin X Zero, or even if you just link your accounts to, you know, my FX book or whatever it may be, these types of things will help you build a slow, consistent track record. And over time, once you have the skill set, no one can take that away from you. Yes, funding may come and go, but that doesn't matter. If you can trade, you can trade for life. So once you have that skill, that is the most important thing. So take it slow focus on the skill, focusing on mastering it, focusing on leveling up, and I guarantee you, you will see success and changes in your trading like no tomorrow. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video so far. I hope you guys learned from those five things and I hope you're going to implement them. Which one stuck out to you the most? Which one of those five things really, really hit you at home? So drop it in the comments below and let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with another video next week. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Support us in the link in the description below on any funded challenges or if you want to join my course. And also on the Telegram, I'll be giving out free trades until the end of the year. So it's completely free. Just join in the link in the description. So look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Champ out. Peace.